Out of every Elvis song you've ever done, what is your favorite? Um, uh, in 1984, uh, 85, in, in Manchester, did a TV show in England, and I did Mean Woman Blues, and I think that was, I love that one the best. Although, you know, you, how can you go wrong with Blue Suede Shoes or Jailhouse Rock or Heartbreak Hotel? Uh, you st okay, the next question, you still have that little Texas necklace? The answer to that is absolutely. It's right here. Um, how many tracks on the new album? Were there any bonus tracks? Uh, how many tracks on the new album? I don't know. I, I, I don't know right now. We, we're, I, I don't know. And will there be bonus tracks? Yes, we know there's one. Um, what song is... How many... Uh, what, uh, what is your favorite song on the new album? Wouldn't you like to know? You think I'm giving that away? Uh, are the Western Can uh, Canadian dates that were canceled last year uh, going to be rescheduled? Uh, we wanted to come back last year. We tried to reschedule them last year. And the promoter who uh, at that point was putting them on would not reschedule them. So it, it, didn't, it doesn't always, okay, you've got to understand something. If I cancel a date, it doesn't always fall on me to go back. We try every time. But at that particular point in time, that promoter did not want us to come back into Western Canada. I will assure you that sometime we'll be back in Western Canada. But it, I know it feels like it, and the way it's perceived is everything always falls on the artist for everything, no matter what happens. But that's not really the case. There are so many people involved in everything that goes on. It's just like in any in your workplace, um, any place. There's too many people makes have too many decisions, and and uh, they there was a res he wanted to basically wanted to reschedule because he lost money. He said on this, and he basically wanted me to come up there and play three shows and two for free. And first of all. I got to tell you, because I got sick, I lost so much money that we couldn't afford to lose any more money. And I know you think that I'm so rich that I can lose any amount of money, but I'm not. Okay? So there you go. Um, so, so whose idea was it to answer the uh, questions on Facebook? I don't know. It was either mine or Kelly's. I don't know. We don't. We don't remember. But between the two of us, it was one of us. Is the kill? Oh, is the kill still part of your band's routine? Absolutely. We've been doing kills since what? Nineteen. Well, it got started with uh, Chuck, Berge, and Amy and Elaine Goff. It got started, and that must have been about '86. That was the blind before I stopped tour, so around '86. And we have killed before every show, every TV show every anything every night since 1986 meet do you think the other guys from backbone will record an album together because okay wait. meet do you think the other guys from backbone will will record an album together because i think it would be great massive super group um couldn't answer that question john rich is you know he won uh, apprentice he's out doing his thing i sent him a text yesterday i'm back from him um uh, John's out there. Mark, I, I'm so busy right now, I, could, I, can, I can't talk to them. I don't have time to talk to myself. We're taking this time be, because of yesterday morning I saw, well, when's he going to come back? So we're taking this time, and I've, oh, gosh, we got to go. So anyway, i got time for a few more. At what age did you start playing guitar? I still haven't started playing guitar. I hold it, and I know some chords, but I wouldn't call it playing. Um, would you direct a movie and... Would you direct a movie? Yes. If, if you would, what sort of movie would you direct? Uh, I would direct a movie that had a good script. That's the, that's the bottom line to anything. You don't, you don't say, oh, I want to direct a horror movie, or oh, I want to direct a crime thriller, or whatever. Somebody gives you, a great writer gives you a great script and asks you to direct it, then you direct it. I don't care if it's a comedy. I could direct comedy. I could direct drama. I could direct horror. I, could, I can direct any of it, but it's about the writing. It's about the script. Uh, what's your most memorable moment in your career? Uh, right now, answering this question about the most memorable moment in my career, this will stay with me for absolutely ever. And probably the other one would be 
the CBS Records Conventions in New Orleans in January of 1978.